Hi, welcome back. God, I'm being busy today with these videos. Uh, one of the um, one of my subscribers asked me about um, text, making text go around circles and stuff like that. So I've just taken a quick picture of, of my cup of coffee, and I'm going to put some writing around the curve of this cup. Very simple procedure. I'm going to click the elliptical tool here. This is the you know where you can you can do a select you know all the selections rectangular. But I'm just going to click the elliptical one, and I'm going to attempt to draw the circumference of the cup. That's close enough. You get the idea here. Now what I want to do is go to my layers palette. If I bring this layers palette into the window, as you know, mine always goes a bit funny when I do this. And I want to click the paths section there. Click the little drop down box and we want make work path. We click that. Now the trick here is not to have so many points in the path, so I'm just going to make it two. All right, okay, okay that. We now have our path made. If I come over here and click the select path option, let's click that cut bit there. Let's move this window out of the way. Again, let's put that there, let's close that up. You can see that I've got very few anchor points, and that's why I, I made it two. Now all I need to do is click the text tool there. Now if I show you the text tool here, you can see that it's got like a square around it. As I come over the path, that square would disappear. And that's because I'm telling the text to follow my path. So if I click there now, there's my flashing text icon. I can set the size and everything as you would normally do with the text tool. I'm not going to go into that, but you can you know, select your fonts or whatever you like, and you can change the fonts later on as well. So let me type some text. This is my coffee cup with depth of field. Full stop, full stop, full stop, maybe. And I'm just going to click the tick button to OK that. And there you go. We now have some curving text. Now, I could have made that a circle. I could have made it any shape I like. But I thought it would be fun just to try and follow the curvature of the cup. So if I go to my layers now, bring the layer palette back in. There you can see the text. If I double click the text, it lets me now edit the text font again. At the top of the screen, you can start changing your fonts again. But we'll leave it as that for now. And of course, we can we can add um, like a, a drop shadow to that in the, in the usual way. But um, all that's for different, really for a different tutorial. Um, yeah. You know, bring the layer style up. You can add drop shadow to it, etc., etc. But uh, to be honest, I don't really want to go into all this. I don't want to confuse everyone. Anyway, get rid of that. Don't want that. So that's how you can do um, writing, following a path. Basically, you can make it any shape you like. Draw a path, make the text follow it. Um, you can even have you hold shift and all. You can make a full, proper circle with the ell elliptical tool. And very simple effect, quick and easy. Anyway, have fun with that.